Alright, welcome to another run here on American Truck Simulator. Change up the paint on the truck and trailer today, so. <coughs> it is a real, real dark green uh, Metallica. And we got a load of small harvesters, well, pickup heads going from Seattle to Salem. Well, we've got this at the new truck. Uh, well, new paint color and stuff. And it looks pretty damn good, so <laughs> definitely, definitely dig it. Um, anyways, we're over here. I, that's, that's what I was doing here. So, we've got a load of small harvesters. Well, they're pickup heads. <laughs> they look like they're claws. Yeah, those are definitely Claws pickup heads, but uh, they don't have any decals or anything on them, so <laughs> that's what they are. Anyways, they're tipping the scales at 8,842 pounds. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, heading to Salem to the E&J Gallo Winery. So, well, plenty of time to take a nap and stuff, too. So, that, we're going to shut up. We're going to get rocking here. We've got the interior glow green now. So yeah, we're going to get trucking. We're going to go find another place to nap. I guess I can do it here, but... Because I want to show off the new uh, Keep rock color. And then turn rock. Jesus Christ. What the hell was your issue there, Popo? <laughs> Damn cop tried taking me out. Yeah, there's no nap area there, otherwise I would have just pulled in there. But there's not a nap area, so...
This is where you're supposed to go in. It is pouring rain. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh roll these up just a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, this is the interior now. Definitely looks cool. I uh, got the green gauges and everything, green interior, all that good stuff, green shifters, all that cool stuff. So, yeah, you see a little bit better. Just that green metallic in it, you can see it. I'm sure it'd be better if the sun was up. But, anyways, so we're gonna get truck in here. Um, bump those up. Yep, the real gas station thing worked. That's nice. But yeah, trailer to match now too. So, still. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely digging this. As long as we don't have any more popo we'll try to take this out. <laughs> but, um... We're gonna go ahead and get our lights on here. Um, yeah, talk. Speaking of cops, today I actually um, was going into work and I come into town and well, I had this uh, racer um, freaking riding my ass. I mean, this real fast and furious type car riding my ass. And, you know, so close that I couldn't see headlights in my rear view mirror anymore. So, that definitely pissed me off. And so I kind of blew smoke and things like that at him, saying, you know, hey, get the fuck out, you know, stop. Don't be, don't be up my ass anymore here, bud. And, uh... Well, he clearly did not get the hint because 
he then proceeds to continue to ride my ass and so I get up I get into town and of course speed limit's 40 miles an hour so I slow down to 40 and then he has the nerve to honk at me and give me the finger so I was like what the hell dude and then he gets up beside me and I'm turning uh, to the left and he proceeds to then be an asshole and rev his engine at me that you know sounds like I heard of West Nile mosquitoes <laughs> and <laughs> so he proceeds to just do that and be an asshole well he's then the light turns green and he absolutely tromps on it and, says, and what he didn't notice uh, was that there was a police officer turning right from the opposite on the opposite side of us so the cop goes hauling ass flips on berries and cherries there and then whips out behind him and pulls him over and I imagine he probably got a ticket it, yeah it was one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen in my life I mean this guy just wanted to be an asshole and so <laughs> he definitely got what he deserved. I mean, from riding my ass and just being a general dickhead, you know, and then romping on it. And yeah, cop did not like that too much. Did not appreciate that, and I can't say that I really did either. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> funny as hell. I, I laugh my ass off. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. I don't know if the cop, this my truck looks like an old farm truck, I don't know, maybe the cop decided that uh, he thought I was a farmer and you don't mess with farmers like that or what the deal was, but uh, yeah, I mean, my truck is straight piped, uh, my 12 valve is, so I mean it's it's got some noise to it, but I've never had any issues, never once had an issue with any of my diesel trucks. I uh, haven't had one with my second gen, I haven't had one an issue with my Fummins, and I never had an issue with my 7.3. So, as long as you're not being an idiot, you're fine, dude. I mean, really, he, he would have been fine, uh, you know, in that whole thing. But then when he decides to romp on it and be an idiot, and then the cop decides he's going to come pull you over, yeah, you, you definitely, definitely have that shit coming. So, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you definitely had that shit coming. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Sometimes, karma is served by a, uh, black interceptor. That's, that's... <laughs> That's sometimes how, how karma gets dished out here, so... <laughs> and... I can't <laughs> necessarily speak for... for everybody here when it comes to police officers and... and everything aside and, and all that kind of stuff, I don't know how you feel necessarily about it and I don't know if I want to necessarily get into it too much, but... All things aside, I, I've never really had too much of an issue with police officers, and there's, I mean, I don't think too many people generally do. I mean, I've only gotten one ticket in my life, other than seatbelt tickets, if you count those, but I really don't. Um, so... Yeah, I really don't count seatbelt tickets. I, I, I just, I really don't. Um, so, the only ticket I had was rolling through a stop sign at like two miles an hour. Um, that's, that's what I got my ticket for. 
and you know what? I was being a dickhead. I was that guy. With his, that's back when I had my seven three. Uh, my buddy Brandon was with me. Um, Brandon and and I go way way back, and. I was dicking around, I'm not going to lie, you know, showing off for some college girls because I was cruising through the campus there, and I generally had to on my way to work, or at my way home from town, and so yeah, I was, I was dinking around, and you know, getting on the, getting on the old exhaust there, okay, somebody needs to fucking move their ass, this is starting to piss me off. Um, so yeah, I was doing a little horsing around, I'm not gonna lie on that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna BS anybody, <laughs> and I rolled through the stop sign, and he, he pulls me over, and he wanna go, you wanna know why I stopped you, I said, yeah, I, I do know, I do know, uh, why you stopped me, I, uh, he goes, well, Display of power, and uh, that's in some other ticket, I can't remember. Display of power, and I can't remember what the other one was, no. But those tickets, he said, oh, loud exhaust, and I think one other one. Excuse me. And he said, those tickets are going to be about 600 bucks. And it's like, oh, shit. And he goes, but... He goes, I think, yeah, there you go, more trailer damage for some reason. Um, I, I don't know what that bug is. I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, anyways, so, I go, yeah, yeah, I was getting on it and, and, and all that stuff. I realized I was in the wrong, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that, because I was in the wrong here. And so... He goes, well, he goes, at least you're honest about it, you know, and, and everything else. And he's like, that's why I figured you were just, you know, dinking around and not really trying to cause any harm. But he's like, but I am going to give you the ticket for the, for the rolling through the stop sign. And uh, he goes, I just, I want to ask you, why were you, why were you dinking around here? And I go, well, uh, well, uh. And uh, he goes, you were showing off with them college girls back there, weren't you? And I mean, I was... Shit. Uh, let's see, how old was I? I think I was 25, 26. So yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, I was. And he's like, well, he's he's like, I'll give you that ticket for rolling through. And he's like, you'll be on about your way. And, the <laughs> next thing, and he's like, so then he takes my license back to run that, and then another cop, a uh, lady cop pulls up, and who, by the way, is a smoking hot chick, I don't know if it's the same, if she necessarily works for, for that town anymore, but she was pretty hot, uh, anyways, she comes, I'm like, oh, shit, what did they find, well, then my buddy Brandon was sitting there, and she came up in the passenger window and scared the living shit out of him. And <laughs> it was funny as hell. She's like, did I scare you? And he's like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and uh, he gave me my ticket and went on about my way. And, you know, that is kind of the way it is with a lot of cops. You know, if you, if you don't BS them and you're not being, not being stupid and, you know, trying to lie to the guy or whatever, and it's usually fun. Um... And probably one of the best times was I was heading um, to my mom's and when she lived up here at that time. And I was going a little fast. I, I am not going to lie. I had to poop really bad. I really did. And uh, I was going a little fast. I was doing 65 and a 55. And same thing. Cop had me dead to rights and pulled me over. And he asked me, he goes, why, uh, why were you speeding? And I said, I know you've probably had this excuse before. I said, but I have to poop. I said, I, I, I have to go. I said, I've been prairie dogging for about 20, 20, 30 minutes, you know, 
so far, and I said, I, I, I have to go poop, I'm sorry, I, I know I was speeding, <laughs> and the cop goes from, like, dead serious to laughing, and, I mean, just like that, and, <laughs> he, <laughs> He just started laughing. He's like, oh my god. I said, I'm being dead serious. And he's like, I can tell you are being serious. I can tell you're being dead honest with this. And uh, he said, I appreciate you being honest. And he's like, I I do definitely appreciate that. And... Turn, come up here. <laughs> he goes, I do appreciate you being honest here. And uh, I said, yeah. And... He goes, well, it's a do 60, I won't pull you over, and you probably won't poop your pants. And I'm not going to lie. I pulled into the first damn gas station in that town, basically literally five miles down the road, and I almost did not make it. I was like, oh, my God, this is not good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, trailer damage, man. I don't know why it does that. It's... It must be some kind of bug, but it's like it, it does it sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know. What a rainy, crappy day here on ATS, huh? <laughs> Didn't rain in real life today, but uh, yeah, it's definitely raining on game here. Yeah, those claws heads are all green. Like the side panels and things would be would be white. Um, <laughs> like all the sides and the top would be white. Your rolls and things are green that color, but uh, well, actually a little lot, a little bit lighter. But uh, yeah, those are definitely definitely a little bit off. But that's okay. I do like the load. Why a winery is is getting pickup heads? I don't know. Um, unless they're making grass wine, or <laughs> maybe they're making homemade beer or something, I don't know. That is a possibility here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so far, I mean... There is some issue with that damage, but it doesn't seem to do it all the time. So that's was kind of a little bit confusing. I I don't know what it is. I, I really don't. Am I gonna hit that? No. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna sneak through here. Who? Real close. I've never delivered to this winery before. It's kind of a neat little place here so far. Yeah, they, they might be <laughs> making homemade uh, beer or something. I don't know what these pickup heads are. Unless they're making grass wine. Now, I have heard of dandelion wine, but I don't know if they make grass wine or not. <laughs> I think all the wineries are pretty well the same in how they look here. But now let's see where they want us to put this. Probably some messed up place. Oh yeah, up there in the corner where it's kind of a bitch to get in and out. But, um, eh, whatever. I'm gonna take a. Backed up in here, and hopefully 
will have too many issues. I gotta watch out for these barrels over here, and I've got things that really probably shouldn't hit back here. <laughs> they might be a little bit upset, and these two jackasses are sitting out in the rain. Um, but, yeah. I don't know if I can sneak it over here like this. Just maybe. It's time to shut here. I probably should have just sent the hell out and been fine. Don't want to hit that. Did I just hit that? Don't want to crash in the building either. And I think we're probably going to end up where we had it before. Fuck it. I'm okay with it. Oh, Jesus. I did hit that. <laughs> well, we're here anyways. So... Probably shut my wipers off again. Shut my lights off again. Well, we got her in there now. <laughs> so... Eh, good enough, I guess, for who it's for. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. What they're going to use them for, I, I do not know. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the run here. And, yeah. So, to the next run, guys. Take it easy, and uh, don't be a dick, because Carmel will bite you in the ass. <laughs> Alright, guys, take it easy.